called matrix effect and it looks something like this so we've got a particle system and then it freezes the camera moves and then it carries on through time so uh, let's open blender and get into it if we first set up a let's see we use something to fire the particles uv sphere will do go into particle settings uh, now we want to stop the particles shooting out at frame 40 and we want the lifetime to be the whole length of our timeline which is 250 and we want uh, to shoot it out a fair, fair rate of velocity so we'll make that 7 uh, we do want rotation and so we'll make the rotation uh, let's see 7 okay and then what we want to do is set up a uh, some objects to actually uh, act as the particles so what we'll do is set up a cube and we'll give that just a very very basic uh, blue color set up a next one as oops uh, set up the next one as uh, say a sphere and set that up as red and I always like lowering the red a wee bit down like so and the next one that we'll do is a cube so cube and we'll make that green obviously so a nice nice sort of citrus green color okay so the next thing we do is we select all these hit control G to group them they have that green outline to show they're all grouped select your particle system go up to your particle settings and in render we go from halo to group and we select that group and as you can see they've all made it into here okay now the next thing that we need to look at if we just close some of these panels. The secret to slowing it down is in the physics panel and it is here. It is the time step. So what we'll do is we'll take it to 40 and uh, sorry, uh, put your cursor over time step, hit I, create a keyframe, go to 60, click on it, make it 0 0.002 and click I again. Uh, sorry, I should have gone to field weights and taken the gravity right down to zero as well, so it just shoots straight out like so. Straight out, and next one will go to frame 140, and we want to keyframe the 0 0.002 time step and then to 160 and then uh, now I'll make that 0.1 because we need to speed it up a wee bit after the freeze it just looks a whole lot better and of course we need oh we've got rotation already so that's good and what I need to what I've found too is that it spins super quick when it speeds up again so what I want to do is go to this keyframe right here and create a keyframe there and make this 2 instead of 7 and then mouse over and hit I now if we go to the uh, we'll just get rid uh, just pull our group out of the way or you can take it to another uh, another layer however you want to do it probably better on another layer much much cleaner and so we've, what we've got is it'll shoot out and then 
look at that it just freezes or it slows down a super slow motion and then it's a simple matter of grabbing your camera grabbing your camera and rotating it around the particle system so however you want to do it so have fun um, if you want to have your particle system start from a very very small point then obviously your emitter needs to be much much smaller so just go to scale 0 0.001 0 0.001 0.001 and you can see it just emits from a very 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 small point and also the other thing to do is make sure your uh, emitter is switched off so that you do not render the actual uh, emitter um, geometry so it's just purely the particles that are coming out so have fun.